Hospital administrators say, simply put, they are full here, and not only at this hospital, but at other hospitals across the state. And there is genuine concern here that the record numbers reported today will not be the highest numbers we see. downtown Clinton Wednesday that the statewide daily COVID-19 numbers more than doubled. I honestly don't think people are taking it serious. I just, people need to be careful and take it serious. Healthcare leaders worry some people in the state are not alarmed enough. The non-essential social gatherings, be they large or small, are killing us. The head of UMMC says the hospital is already reaching max capacity and it's small gatherings that are causing the numbers to rise. But hospital administrators worry this latest report of record COVID-19 numbers is a sign that more demand will be placed on the hospital. The deficit between our med surge beds and our critical care beds have flip-flopped with this peak. Administrators say they are currently dealing with 65 COVID-19 patients with another 15 likely to be added to the list and already being treated. Unlike prior surges, more patients, they say, are needing more general medical treatment and not requiring ICU beds. But they say that is problematic just the same for a hospital at max capacity. Is that the resources are finite. They are finite. There gets to a point when we have to say, we don't have another place to put another patient safely. We can't do it. And it gets to a point where we have to say, we don't have the nursing staff. We don't have it. When we're trying to avoid a back and forth with the governor, Tuesday he told me he questioned the hospital's ICU crisis and that he believes a statewide mask mandate would not help curb the alarming trend. Woodward once again doubling down on her request for that statewide mask mandate. I do feel that a statewide mask mandate would be important and would be valuable. Does that mean everybody's going to wear a mask? Of course not. Some people won't care that there's a statewide mask mandate, but some would. The governor told me yesterday he's still opting to select those counties in the state that are spiking right now, 54 of the state's 82 counties, under that mandatory mask mandate. But here at UMMC, they are genuinely concerned that the high numbers reported today are not a result of the Thanksgiving holidays, that those cases are likely to still be coming, and that will be record numbers still to come. Live at UMMC, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.